Now, when we start to talk about knowledge and stuff like that, when we start to talk about traditions, you got to be careful. Any form of tradition, because people always try to find a tradition like that got something like that means something. Like that means something. All traditions got formulated from a cult. There is no such thing as nobody indigenous to no land create no goddamn tradition and shit like that. You can't find that in history. Like, well, how y'all feel? Like, like y'all know how y'all in America right now, and y'all feel like America is ran. That's how it always been. It, it just started in Egypt. It wasn't like somebody got their land, took over, or something like that. The same, the same thing that been happening is the same thing happening now. How y'all feel about the world is the way y'all would have felt about the world if y'all was living in Egypt at that time. The same shit. So when nobody, nobody, because look, you got to keep this in mind. When it comes to starting points and shit like that, there is no such thing as a, a tradition that's not based on star formation. So when motherfuckers be claiming, oh, we need to go back to our tradition that's based on they what they quote unquote their mixed race that the shadow government already made them much out of and shit like that, they fail to realize that they have already been cultivated, captured, utilized by, by a cult. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. Always ask a person, what is the correspondence to your tradition? And if they tell you something that you have to believe them, don't believe it. Because in their mind, they're going to be using Western Hemisphere knowledge and these books and the English language to explain a worldview that wasn't seen in that way during these times. Don't nobody got no direct bloodline family lineage to know what the fuck mind states these individuals was in when they was writing the Book of the Dead and all this other motherfucking that motherfucker mind. So this is a person who coming up with their own masters or over exaggerators of the universe energy to basically rock you to sleep about what have came before you. This is how motherfuckers can make arguments about Christianity always around. Because the, the pretense and the context of Christianity is worship in the mind. So if you can find a whole different civilizations, so if you can find a whole bunch of civilizations that worship the mind, but they gave it different names, of course a person who have a bias in Christianity and Western Hemisphere knowledge in today's time with a crackhead and scholarship, spiritually speaking, can utilize an argument like that kind of concept been here before they named it Christianity. Doesn't necessarily mean it's true within a logical context that they're trying to put it in. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Got to be an intellectual. You got to be an adult as a spirit. When you read any, any scripture, anything, I don't give a fuck what it is. You don't even look at something just because somebody got a bow tie and a tuxedo with a bucket hat and they took a picture on front of the book as form of authorizing their authorship. And just on the basis of that, you supporting the community, you want to believe every flunked out goddamn thing they say. They just as lost as your flunked out ass. They just more a little bit more lost than you, a little bit more indoctrinated than you. And your indoctrination is based on biases. Now let's check this out, right? So let's break down some philosophical proof that you could bring down into logical historical practices that if you want to break it down into science or historicity and things of that nature, first you start with the body. Then you will have a person look at their own source within the context of you right anyway, which you didn't have to go waste your time, blood, sweat, and tears, and money to go find some sources because you're only using logic against logic. You're not using logic for logic, a.k.a. you got to go get a book to suit your bias. When you use logic against logic, logic is everywhere. Just ask the author who, who authorized the book. So you'll be able to intellectualize the starting point of the worldview that they're using to create the index and the, and the, and the correspondences of whatever that they're writing within the book. So once you, once you know their starting point, you don't necessarily have to know everything and all the stories because a lot of stories could be real. Some stories could be fake. What you need to know is the virtues and principles, what's being played out, what's being practiced. And once you see what's being practiced, then that's when you can spot the evil or you spot the good or spot the somewhere in between. And you can utilize for yourself and this motherfucker shit. Have equilibrium in this motherfucker. So on the one to a third dimension, they say follow the money. But well, Archangel Uriel told you in the fourth and the sixth dimension, follow the energy, follow the mind state. Follow the characteristics. Follow the practice. Follow the program. It'll lead you right to the motherfuckers who got control over what y'all be talking about who leading to the money. Whoever got control. Then you will start to understand other type shit that God will show you. When you try to find the money, you're only finding the most popular puppets. When you find the energy, you actually see what the puppets is praying to who actually run the world, who actually ain't got to spend a dime to experience the product that's being produced based upon the ideas that they put on the sheet mind to continue for their corporation to run. 
They just call it country right now. Oh, I'm saying real shit. Now, let's check this out, right? Now, when we start to talk about intellect, now, it, you you got to tell an individual to find you. If they're going to say we have to find an ancient practice based upon a bias, and they're going to come up with some type of pseudo intellect, crack man, jail man, woman, uh, prosthetic leg knowledge and shit like that, just coming up in that fucked up ass mind and shit like that, that's handicapping the mind. We're not talking about physical. You know what I'm saying? People got reprobated spirits. You know what I'm saying? People got uh, uh, what they call that, a dissectomy space, uh, Gentile area, and people got uncircumcised frontal lobes and heart chakras and shit like that. So keep that in mind. People down here are actually beautiful and actually know way more goddamn things than individuals like no, like long neck. That's how they can become rich and things of that nature. So I always know I'm speaking in the spiritual terms of things of that nature. When I speak on ter terms like mental illness or physical illnesses and things of that nature. Now, look, check this out, right? When we start to talk about uh, pretense of understanding that when a motherfucker starts to say we need to go back to a motherfucker tradition, but their whole soul basis of it is pseudo man, handicapped mental knowledge, a.k.a. Well, I think. This evil is better than the other, but they're not looking at it within the context of evil. So they're basically looking at it within the context of, well, since I don't like the government that we're up under right now, I'd rather suit something that looks something more for us from this history that we're reading that describe people that was going through the things we're going through or have the color form or some shape or some shape. Right now, that's a that's a Jesuit, weak man, weak jail man, handicap brain knowledge. So don't ever utilize that because it's going to lead you into having a handicap and infinite regress. Or, for the most part, crying for liberation or respiration to individuals who wasn't even crying to any individuals for liberation. They was actually talking about mental states and demonic energies they got from inside themselves. And that allowed them to understand how to love each other, loving themselves, to build, become guilders or to become motherfuckers builders of communities. Where they come up with certain traditions, which take us back to the original point. So when a motherfucker start to say... That we need to go back to a tradition, then this is what you need to do to prove everybody wrong right now who got jail and woman man knowledge on the internet. You need to ask them what are the actual correspondence of your tradition. And if their correspondences is a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then their tradition was given to them by a cult. See what I'm saying? Now, let's say if they're Google scholars, this is the first thing they're going to do. They're going to go find someone that mimicked them in some way, shape, or form. And claim that these ancients was actually practicing some tradition that don't have anything to do with the hieroglyphics as above, so below, following a star formation. A.K.A. the concept that the Masons named as following wandering stars. And you can create your own wandering star if you can wander enough and develop an idea that people can gravitate towards and give attention to. And then that's going through the Masonic Lodge degree of creating a blazing star. But that's a different, that's a different video. So, for the most part, right? Now, an individual will start to get on. Google and learn from these individuals that we so call quote unquote hate and then start to go try to find a tradition that don't have nothing to do with the hieroglyphics. But if you're intelligent enough to know and you got Uriel knowledge, you a mental pilot, mental mastics out here, we got all the magical mysteries and we know all the mystic magic tricks. You understand correspondence as a starting point. So a person is going to have to turn into another Christianity and grandma. See, everybody are fake Christians. They just not no more because new age. So there's a whole bunch of different names for it now. Islam, all, all kind of different names for it now. People, pseudo, all kind of shit, Kimmy. But they're still within the mind frame. So you're going to have to force a person within this position what they're going to have to prove. They're going to have to prove that, okay, if you're going to, if you're showing me a tradition that's closer to your people that don't have nothing to do with star formation, then why is, the, why is every statue or every pyramid on that geographical location is predicated on the hieroglyphics? Just like it's set up in motherfucking um, in Egypt, and you cannot, and you're gonna become a theologian. The once you once you say some shit like, it don't matter what geographical location a civilization can stay on. In you two can months, take exit ten from I eighty five south towards Spartanburg. Uh, for the most part, they're gonna come up with an argument like, everybody, it don't matter. You can stay on one totally opposite geographical location than another civilization. But for some reason, since we all humans, we come up with the same idea. You can't find that in history either. Stop, 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 stop them from that argument. Stop. That's category error. Because for the most part, here's the thing. If we're going to bring that within the context, 
that's the wrong category because you're going to have to bring out some type of peer-reviewed or general consensus since you want to bring in Google Scholarship of proving there's a such thing as every civilization at th coming up with the same idea. And I'll make it simple for you. Let's say Mickey Mouse. Every civilization don't got an idea of Mickey Mouse in their head. And if you want to generalize it and say a whole civilization probably had an idea of rats in their head and things of that nature, okay, let's, let's expand that. Two totally different geographical locations interact with the environment and the sun trans is different. So just based on body and interacting with that geographical location, living there as an indigenous people, you're going to automatically come up with a different a, a different idea on how to construct your life that's way different than any names that we call in gods or whatever or because and for an example you can say you stand corrected you don't really got to go into details you can say you stand corrected if a person to get deeper today boss uh damn i took the wrong goddamn turn if, if, if a person get deep into their bias and this motherfucking shit all you got to do is get into details. Then you're going to be like, all right, well, do you got more correspondence? Do you got more correspondences than me? Because I can tell you that one geographical location, motherfuckers started making teepees. On another geographical location, motherfuckers started making igloos. So it seemed like my correspondence and how it's the seasonal tr uh, transitions interacting with two geographical locations, I think I can make more examples to make sense to prove my claim that based two different two different geographical locations, people have different thoughts. Now, you're going to have to prove more correspondences to me that two, ge two geographical locations have similar thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And Use for the, the left two lanes to turn left onto US 29 South, US 74 West. And for the most part, if you come up with some concept like, well, everybody everybody you just US talked about, South for three quarters of a mile. they came up with the concept to build something. That ain't got nothing to do with naming something God. That ain't got nothing to do with naming something a tradition. That ain't got nothing to do with naming something nothing. And, and creating shelter ain't got nothing to do with tradition. Shelter got something to do with survival, wh which that reminds us how this body is where animals. And the animal kingdom with this body. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, don't let nobody get you flunked out with no weak ass arguments either. They're not going to have more correspondences than you if you watch my channel and, and any of their scholarship. To pull out any form of ancient knowledge that can prove whatever people that they're clinging on to as far as a bias has a fucking tradition that's not correlated to a star formation. Any any geographical location going to have their uh, uh, pyramids, their statues and whatever based on far east, based on exaltation of the uh, sun as, uh, as above, so below correspondences. And here's the thing. When it, right on the Sam Wilson Road. In every civilization, that bargain and gain system was brought to civilizations. So ain't no big, large, carved, shaped out bricks being moved anywhere without it being some civilized shit. And civiliz civilized energy was brought there. So the same way how y'all look at America and look at everything, that's how y'all would have looked at it in Egypt. But in America, y'all taking Western Hemisphere trying to copy them because they took over something, but it really called claiming. And y'all and y'all took their energy of the story about it, and y'all think all races had that kind of story, but y'all fail to realize that all races only got slave stories. There's only one god story, and it's the motherfuckers who still running the world, practicing the same shit. So how you see shit now is how you would have seen it in Egypt. Is motherfuckers bringing that shit here? Not you to think that the Greeks came to Egypt and created Alexandria and shit like that. No. They, uh, that's their, that's their shit, updating it. It's all the same shit. It ain't no Christianity come up out of Egypt. It's Christianity was created in Egypt and Egypt was the first name of it. I don't, I don't understand y'all. Like y'all, y'all retarded. Take the next right onto Sam Wilson Road. And the only reason y'all make gentleman arguments is because when y'all read King James Bibles and it say the Egyptian books, Continue on Sam Wilson Road for three quarters of a mile. And, and to say the motherfucking Egypt, Egyptian books y'all talking about, y'all getting the occult color spectrums and, and claiming that y'all Western Hemisphere dot with y'all brains and thinking it's talking about your race as a people. So when you start to hear the historicity in these books and things of that nature, you conflate the what's occult practice of it with the historicity of it. So for the most part, that that's when you get the wrong concept. But when you understand other books that was written in these times, that don't got nothing to do with the civilization, covenant, government, you'll understand it clearly. When you hear dark or black, you're hearing context as in dealing with the emotions or feelings. So anytime you are a dark individual or you are people of the black, you are black people, we're not talking about race. 
You could be John B., white as hell. And the melanin dark people that they're talking about is people who access their emotional state more mile, to be manipulated or to access of the, or to gain the access of the world. So you can create a whole bunch of trickery when you're a person who manipulate the emotions and don't express what you actually want out the situation, but you got some weird indirect way to express what you want out the external situation. That's that's where the dark concept come from and woman and all that energy, not melon females. The, Turn left under the, I the, energy, the energy of that and light and white and angels, that all come from masculine energies. Being able to have a logical thought or to be able to express or use your own self, your own mind, your own physical natures to get things out of the external world. And make sure you're not too naive or baby-like or gullible to the point that your energy get used and abused and took an advantage of because you was too kind and sweet. That's when it's talking about angel energy and shit like that, and angelic or white or light. So if you're using white or light magic, or you're a white man in the Bible, or a white woman in the Bible, now they're putting these faces to look like actual melon females to help you understand what they're talking about. So that's why a lot of times if you're reading the King James Bible or the, up, or the New Testament, it's updated. So if you understand Masonic intellect, I mean, Masonic art, Jesuit intellect and Jewish literature, you will understand why they're putting it in simpler context. So in the Bible, you will only see a woman being drawn out as a female, but a woman that's a correspondence to a female to help females understand is talking about the emotions. In the Bible, a woman is always going to be the allegory as a demon or she's always going to be dark or black or water. And then when it comes to a man, a man is always going to be God, an angel, or a light, or or uh, or air, the word, the winds, cloud, the, the all the masculine energy. You got the, you got the earth and the water, all correspondences to the uh, devil and the fill and the emotions, and you got the light and the, the light, which is the fire and the air, the word, which corresponds to the staff and Moses or God and God disembodied son and shit like that, right? So the light and the word, the mind and you speaking the mind into existence. So that's light, white. So that's why all angels are white men and all women are demons or, or black women in the Bible. It has nothing to do with male or females. That's why you don't go into the woods. And that's why we got that term. And that's why you don't go in the woods and see if it's a bug or animal, a real man or a woman. That's some human shit. So if you don't understand the concept of humans using their mind to know the correspondence that we're using, we're calling everything stuff inside of us first from geographical locations and names and titles, fire, water, wind, air, all that shit. I mean, uh, fire, water, air, or all these different names and titles and encyclopedias, things we're calling inside of us first. So we're updating. We don't know what this shit is that we're just alchemy to come up with shit to name it the closest things that we was naming inside of us first as the real language of God as vibrations and shit like that. We, we only start calling Israel and Kemet and, and Egypt and all that eastern continents the temple because that's where it's most sum Sumerian at, most spring and summer. So since we wake up and all of our ideas seem like it appear to be up here where we created the organs of the eyeballs and things of that nature, right? That We call that actual geographical location, the area we call it in our head, where we call it head now. But before we called it, it this was Israel. Your head, your temple. This was your temple. Then we we call Africa that after, not we call it a land shit first. Remember, you have to understand starting points. First, we have an as above, so below. Then we make a correspondence, a clock. Then we utilize the vows. Then we utilize the external world, whether we manipulate it or hear the sounds of the winds and the water, and then formulate the names that attach that attach to the as above, so below, and the vows of daytime and midday and nighttime to make continents and, and, and structures around the vowels. Then now, then now we create numbers and language to externally express what we was going on inside of us to relate to each other because before verbal communication, we're only trying to relate how we can understand each other. And that's an internal thing. So that's the, that's the starting point to understand it ain't language first and naming external things first. It's us understanding each other first. And then we come up with names from the hieroglyphic. Then we name things inside of us first to understand what we talk about. And we make correspondences to the things outside of us, what we're talking about inside of us. And this helps us understand the first concepts of spirituality. This would make the Jews and the shadow government way more spiritual than y'all weak ass traditions that they taught y'all 2000 years ago that somehow y'all think that's y'all's. And y'all got a copy. Okay. All y'all got to use electromagnetica. All y'all got to 
you can't and you can't find no tradition that ain't got no astrological system formation. And you ain't about to sit here and tell me some indigenous people came up with some motherfucker tradition and they came up with their own astrology. No, that civilization was just ran by whatever colony came on there and they liked the whatever their portion, their port their part of the six pointed star to make a language out of for their little portion. To have y'all worship of one of the water cycles. One might not be one might be Jupiter. One geographical geographical location. That 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 Jesuit or something like that, Mason wanted to teach the Venus. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot tell me no indigenous person is motherfucker coming up with their own star system. No. Indigenous people get their land claimed. And it wasn't their land. And landers get claimed. And they get civilized. They get civilized. Because whenever whenever we hear something, we're supposed to always see it. Whatever, whatever happened in then is what's happening now. So it's supposed to still be going on. And I don't be seeing any of y'all crackhead spiritual systems and traditions and y'all drunk ass aunties and grandmothers creating no traditions in today's time. All y'all crackheaded ass GMO ass grandmothers is still Christians. So back in the Egypt days, they would have had weak ass spirits to be whatever they made up in Egypt. Ain't none of y'all grandmothers got no shit in today's time. They create their own tradition. All y'all, no matter what race this is, y'all got a culture. And your grandmother is just a puppet to uphold that culture. Your grandmother ain't create shit. Your grandmother can only tell you what y'all did as far as the culture of the, the, the colony y'all get ready to find when y'all do y'all DNA and find y'all y'all ancestry father, a.k.a. some mason in the 13th colony. It don't matter what race you is. All, right, go, all y'all go back to that. When a nigga, when somebody started mixing y'all and mutting y'all up, that's it. And your grandma, great, great grandma, grandma just used to uphold that nigga's ideas. That's it. Or Espanol idea. Or what kind of Hanukkah idea. Or Shabba Hanukkah, Habba Hadi idea. Whatever the fuck, Habibi idea. All oh, months. Arabs was the first months. So y'all got to keep that in mind. I don't know how y'all be getting lost in this motherfucker shit. You ain't gonna find no history that ain't got that's more correspondence than what I'm talking about. You gonna find shit that debunked you because you because the way I'm attacking it. You nobody attacked the shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you need to know that's the actuality of it. Now, for the most part, you're not gonna find no motherfucking body because your grandma don't know shit about looking at the stars and shit like that. So your grandma back in the Egyptian times. So you go, you just at this point get getting into masters and over exaggerators of the universe, he man and he woman, because you want me to believe your intelligence that you got from the shadow government right now in the Western Hemisphere, and then you gonna give your level of intelligence that you copy in to some grandparents that you ain't even a part of after three hundred years ago, and you gonna claim that four thousand years ago they they had to be that smart. They just had to be, and the people you don't like in this time just had to be copying and mimicking them. Now, I gotta believe you from that. At that point. You can't even be a Google Scholar at that point. We got to go be beyond the limits, and I just got to fuck with you. I, I got to turn into your version of Christianity, basically. That's what it is. I keep it real. I'm Archangel Uriel. That's what it is. You want me to turn into your goddamn Christianity. It just ain't Christianity no more. It's something else. It's Kemet. It's something else. But it's y'all still in the mind frame. That's the practice. You're still in the practice. You what? Yo, none of your culture came up with that practice. Some shadow government gave y'all that as above, so below. And I can guarantee every tradition, the basic practices of the tradition, either is practiced on a certain hour out of the day, practice a certain day out of the week, have a specific month that they worship, and then for the most part, as an overall perspective, call those the demiurges of that overall uh, entity that they think they're inside of as a body of knowledge or whatever created that intellectual property as a motherfucker uh, a person who, who in the government. So keep that in mind. So for the most part, you ain't gonna never find no history of your people unless it's being taught by the people who gave them that cult practice. So you probably getting brought to sleep by a puppet, a, 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 a old age, AKA first, first version, new age, like Paul, you probably find a, a, a older version, Madame Lubisky. You probably find it an older version, Malcolm X book. So it was Malcolm X before Malcolm X. You know i say it was Madame Lubisky before Aleister Crowley. It was Aleister Crowley before uh, Aleister Crowley and all these cats. 
The shadow government been doing a number on y'all for a long time in this motherfucker shit. Y'all don't know how to understand it from that perspective. So a lot of times y'all had these weak ass arguments like something being stolen from somewhere. Ain't nothing being stolen from nothing. What's ever being practiced is still is still being practiced today. You know what I'm saying. So even if you want to get on the argument of what was stolen, that's a practice. Now if that practice looked like it's working, I think you need to start that practice then. So I think y'all still wasting y'all time for the past 30, 40 years with y'all teaching. Y'all need to learn how to steal then. Steal some Masonic ass practice. Steal some Jesuit ass practice. Steal some Jewish ass practice. Obviously, if the, if, the if the practice is what works and you getting out of your flumped out ass emotions and feelings is what is is what work. And these books that you say from that's coming from these people you hate, they basically telling you what worked for them. Getting out of their flunked out ass feelings and emotions is a book of virtues and principles, a, a book about a book of instructions, a, a title before you leave or whatever the fuck it is. Then why don't you just start stealing it? Oh, sad. Like, I don't get it. Y'all just like to copy. Y'all don't like to steal and transmute. I be doing everything because they summon me. They copy me. But let me, let me jump in y'all's shoes to help y'all get a clear perspective. If the practice is creating a religion, then why not do that? I said, why Why copy one of theirs? They already, if you claim it, they stole. Why don't you just practice it then? Steal a whole bunch of their shit and create a new age shit and create a religion. If you claim that's what they did and you somewhere crying to them for liberation and respiration. Obviously, if you cry to them, what they did work. Like, I don't like y'all retarded. Y'all, why y'all just get with the program? Why do y'all always want to put yourselves ass, get ready to get yourselves killed and shit? Put yourselves at sacrifice. I don't get it. It's about working smart, not hard. You work smarter, not harder. I don't I don't understand y'all. Use your mind. You ain't got to use so much of your fucking body and be stressed out all the fucking time. And what you'll fail to realize, they like that shit. You won't even get no problems from them. You'll get all kind of open stargates and shit like that. All kind of credit schemes and shit like that. Then you'll, then you'll be such in a different world of non-biases with a collection of other spirits that outweigh the percentage level of the small majority world. Once you get out of that small spaceship, that small mind frame, anytime you choose to go back to that world with a collection of spirits that still got them same sizes of mind, right? You'll be looking at them like, like they might slight call, start looking at the things that you do and what you have as negative or demonic. And you looking at it like that, like, man, these is, these is like out of the limits of y'all, fathom of y'all imaginations. And the reason y'all only looking at it as evil, because y'all attach what y'all see appear to think is negative to one of y'all lacking or insecurities or biases that y'all have based upon the living condition you in and you ain't had the ability to think for yourself. So you don't know the many, many different ways of how things could be played out. So you rather hate on anything that looks like it's different than your fixated mind frame you're in. And a lot of times y'all be around so much small-minded individuals that you wasting your time to even try to explain to an individual that shit ain't evil. It's just evil because of the small world that you're into. And you need to expand your mind a little bit so you can know what the real evils and positives in the world. And it don't have anything to do with your small limitations and your concepts of what you claim in evil and whatever business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics concept they got you in to have you limited and not manifesting again crumbs right now and crying that you ain't got support or crying that you in a flunk that ass spirit circumstance. I'm saying real shit and self-sabotage yourself because you're too busy trying to control the world, thinking that it can move in your way. Thinking you can control others from your mind state of how you thinking you're going to get ready to present yourself for somebody or a group of individuals or the world. And it's teamwork makes the dream work, period, in all realms of realities. I don't give a fuck what you talk about. You can't make no money without nobody else. You can't get no attention without nobody else. You can't become successful without nobody else. You can't be heard without nobody else. So if you in your mind thinking, I don't need the world, God said these people make you alone. And that, that's the wrong God. When you alone, that's because you're on a real God mission and you're seeing certain things. So you, you're separating yourself in that little ponder of time to be around the right people, places, and things. Not you jacking off all the motherfucking time or using a vibrator and Jesus Christ saved you from the new age. And this is the reason why you uh, have to be alone and people don't like you. No, that's the devil you worship. People that ain't around you because you got a fucked up ass attitude. You stuck up in some shit. 
That's why people ain't allowed around. That's why people don't like to be around you. And you using that spirit, that fucked out ass spirit, that demon I like being called God to suit your self-satisfaction. And since you got insecurities that you don't want to be exposed for your vulnerability, so you actually have to do something about it at this very second and minute, you will use all kind of other shit that got a lot of energy of it, a lot of energy in it already from a group of other spirits, especially spirits that run the world, that force other weak spirits and sheep to put energy in these golems to make, and, and all y'all as a group of spirits cater to want to protect y'all vulnerabilities and insecurities. So when you got a helping hand, and it look like it's normal and it's the right thing to do. You do not know what you do and you are a fool. So you say things that really don't never actually reap the root cause of the issue. You you compromise your spiritual immune system and you actually keep repeating the same circumstance. And it's all going to boil down to you needing somebody because the teamwork makes the dream work. You think you all alone, but it's all going to boil down to you needing somebody. And the person you need ain't going to be in the spiritual system you into. Ain't that and ain't that about a bitch. And peep game. It's always the proof in the pudding like Bill Cosby. Y'all can see that in y'all own life. You can hear a person say, Christianity this, Jesus that, Muhammad this, Muhammad that. But as soon as, we in, soon as they, they meet life, they always need somebody in their life that ain't into this, that ain't as deep into the shit they into. Know what I'm saying? Now, when everything going all good, they think God is the all, all they God, they demon God is everything in the world, right? But as soon as they life start going down, right, they need that manager that could possibly be an atheist to hire them. They need that bitch who possibly flunked out and damaged in her life and don't give a fuck about none of that to help his monkey ass out because he ain't got a place to stay. And he just got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Or she might need homie cheese, homie slice, or nigga, nigger jail man knowledge, right? Just uh, And he might not got nothing to do with her, her believing, uh, her growing up indoctrinated in GMO and Christianity out and Pentecostal out, right? But she might need him because she can't drive daddy car no more. She can't use mommy's insurance no more. You know what I'm saying? So she got to step aside if she want to look normal in the world and get into a marriage or a relationship, right? But look, she, look, look, look what got stepped aside, the religion. So I'm saying? So for the most part, don't let you motherfucker know. I had a motherfucking point. I had a, I had a motherfucking point I was coming to. It's going to come right back to me. I'm sorry, because I'm trying to pay attention to roll and all this shit. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it don't, it, so, yeah that's that's the point. Ooh, I, the, the, shout out to the, shout out to the uh, goddamn the real gods in the world. Real spirits that deserve that shit, man. Tell you no lot. Real shit. Real shit. But yeah, that, that's how you know. When a motherfucker, yeah, they claim whatever they into got a lot of power, but they always end up needing somebody who ain't into that shit that manifested way more than them for them to survive. They always gotta go get that manager that don't that don't share the same religion. All right, you a Christian, you're a Muslim, you're right. All right, go ask your manager right now. I, I want you to put this to the test. Go tell your manager right now, your religion say you ain't supposed to work on Saturday. And you were supposed to be powerful enough as a as some type of ancestry God that you could create your own religion and make it so powerful that you got the right words to make somebody believe you and respect it. So your God shouldn't hear no excuse. Yet you turn into Squidward game and you just want that check, bitch. But look, go to your manager right now, ask him, look, my religion saying I ain't allowed to work on I ain't allowed to work on Sunday and Monday. And see if your manager agree with it. Then come back and tell me that I need to listen to your flunked out ass Jesus and your flunked out ass Muhammad and all that flunked out ass Islam shit, bitch. Because before you tell me your ancestry Kemet system got all this power, why it seem like the people who deeper, the people who deepest in their religions always need motherfuckers who ain't deep in their religion to survive in this motherfucking world. Obviously, your God ain't shit. Now, the proof in the pudding now. Fuck that. It's time to be a motherfucking spiritual adult. It's time to be a... That ain't a kill your motherfucking cousin. I ain't letting that shit ride. Real shit. This fuck that ass demon I like being called God. They kill all the all your first sons and daughters. 
They killed your motherfucking cousin right in front of your ass. And you just gonna let that shit ride? Nigga, you's a bitch. I ain't letting that shit ride. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga, y'all both sound like some bitches. Give me the sale. Open up my weed. Oh, so don't for that. Don't for that. Don't for that. Don't for that. Don't for that, bitch. Real shit. Man, I got to kill your fucking cousin. And you gonna let that shit ride? I was going to say some shit like, oh, well, God can do what he, what he want to do with his people. Why he, he? Why he got an Uzi? Why he got a nine to five? Why he got shotguns? Why he got pillars and waterfronts? Yo, God is shit. I'm saying real shit. I'm for that. 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 Real shit. I'm saying making up all this excuses and shit like that. Go let that shit ride. And shit like that. Oh, God could do this because God could do at his will. And shit like, well, goddamn, fuck that shit, damn. Fuck that. Where's Shaheem at? I want a 40. Get your elbow off the icebox, bitch. I want a 40. Fuck your 40 days, 40 nights. You got to walk with goddamn bare knuckle temple and symbol sign, uh, wooden John Clint uh, samples, uh, sandals and shit like that. Jesus slippers, open toe sandals. I said, real off all night. I don't need no Jesus flip flops. I want the 40, not the 40 days, 40 nights, magical thinking, witchcraft, over exaggerators of the universe. E man, get your elbow, off. get your fucking elbow off the goddamn icebox. Shaheen. Oh, Sam, right here, get it off right now. It'll go to the front of the night, it'll go to the front of the night, it'll go to the front of the night. Oh, fuck your 40 day, 40 night, throw that ass by. Oh, Sam, but yeah, real shit. Don't go to Jack in the Box. Don't say, go to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Rock, Jack in the Face. Don't say, old Jackal, Egyptian Jackal Face. Don't go for that, don't go for that, don't go for that. Don't go for you old Nubis, you old dog, Toucan Sam Face. Don't go for that, don't go further than that, fans. Don't go for that. I want to try to go back to history. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as y'all go buy a box of tricks, uh, say, uh, or two, uh, no, Fruit Loops, y'all worship, uh, uh, Cinnamy Sam. Y'all worship Osiris in my eye. Y'all go to for that. Y'all go for that. Y'all go for that. Y'all go for that. The witchcraft is in the cereal. The witchcraft is in the children's cereal. Y'all go for that. Y'all go for that. Y'all got PBA. Y'all don't understand. Y'all got to understand. It's witchcraft everywhere. You can't go outside without no fucking witchcraft. I'm going to keep it 100. All I got to do is show y'all these signs and symbols. All you're going to see is a whole bunch of witchcraft. Ain't that no witchcraft. They don't go no further than that. You know, that's that's why the, uh, that the rapper Riff Raff was a goddamn it. Uh, he was an independent. He was an independent. Uh, 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 what they call that industry plant. He was an independent studio plant. Riff Raff is all witchcraft. You got you got hit with the gift gaff. I say you got hit with the gift gaff with the witchcraft when when Riff Raff came out. I uh, said so now it's Tic Tac. I said that was tic tac, tis tickety tack, tic tac. It's tic tac, tic tac. I said, we're going to that, we're going to that, we're going to that, we're going to that. They rocking everybody to sleep. Tic tac introduced to the world, not to the world, but introduced America to start seeing visions on our soil, shit they they was doing in the eastern continents. People getting their head chopped off. Now, now you can see people dying in America. Live on camera. And they set it up real good. How come how come back in the day when we had no cameras, no, no cell phones with cameras on it or nothing? Man, you do anything, you get caught in the morning. You if you was if you get if you did a crime in New York and you was trying to go to Canada or you was trying to go to the tri-state and go to Jersey real quick, you wouldn't make it. Why all of a sudden it's like cameras on top of every street pole? Everybody got a camera phone. It take about 3,000 bucks to still not know shit. Just to have a lead. It take three, five months just to have a lead. And the main complaint is nobody talking. Bitch, you got see that camera footage from every fucking angle. Man, this shadow government not shit. This shit is orchestrated. This fucking shit is orchestrated. Y'all don't understand that. Don't y'all understand when this fucking the movies came out? Blair Witch Concept, the Bla Blair Witch Project, and motherfucking uh Cloverfield, Cloverfield, they psychologically 
platformed our mind and normalized something. So then when they created YouTube and all this shit, those was the first popular movies. And guess what YouTube and social media became? Walking versions of Cloverfield and their Blair Witch concept movies. Tell me I'm lying. That's that's what the fuck I'm doing now. This shit, this man, this shadow government ain't shit. This ain't shit. Y'all got to see it. Look, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look outside. It's this witchcraft everywhere. And they the actual monster. They the monster in Cloverfield. Or <coughs> right? Pete Game. Pete. Game, understand words, Illuminati, occult, hidden in plain sight. Think about the villains in these movies. You only get a glimpse. They be tearing down all the logos and the signs. It always got you in fear. You see it, but you don't see it. It'd be a quick flash. But it'd be the shit that it'd be on everybody's mind and it's what we all running from and talking about. Now you can understand flood stories. Now you can understand dinosaur stories, asteroid stories. It's just a whole bunch of Masons updating, Zachariah Sinches updating. They, they get us feared into Metropolis, Gotham City, some coming from the sky and Tremors, Ghostbusters and, and, and God damn it. Uh, Secret of the Ooze and Power Rangers shit coming from underneath the ground. And as long as we have fear and belief, shit, they could go ahead and get rich off business. They could go ahead and uh, change the world with their religion. They could go ahead and create different forms of politics. They could go ahead and create all kind of Olympics, the Olympics and, and goddamn gladiator shit for us. Entertainment. You know what I'm and then they could go ahead and just get us lost in their whole goddamn education system. Everybody following the light. Lucifer. And guess who run the world? can't tell you no lie. I wish I was blind like a lot of humans down here. I wish I could see it like y'all. Maybe I'll have a lot more fun when I go in my mind. Because sometimes I, God, God taught me how to don't give a fuck about what's going on in my mind. So in the one to a third dimension, I'm going to have me some fun still looking like I'm doing shit for God. So that, that that's inevitable. But in my mind, I be wanting to cry sometimes. I be wanting to cry sometimes. Real shit. Because it hurt my heart. And it, and, and it only and only made me realize how long it's actually going to motherfucking take for anything to actually come together. Because for the most part, here's the thing, right? The teamwork makes the dream work. So since we're already in the old and outdated experiencing the death before an experience, before it expires from our mind that we created life for the bend in on self in the fourth and sixth dimension, those natures became our body and the external nature. The awareness, external nature in our body and our brain that our individual nature. So our awareness in our mind is the fourth and sixth dimensional nature, how we complete come together. So the moment we don't be teaching each other the footprints in the sand that of our starting points, because we all be using each other traits. But since we create our own bubble out of the wave, out of our all awarenesses that we create from because y'all get that confused sometimes. Look. As a spirit, your first mind is your awareness, that internal, external. But for you to confine it, you have to make a bubble out of that way. And I always explain how you duplicate a mind. You make a mind dirty. You take one part of that awareness and accumulate it with another part of that awareness so you never neck it. Because as a spirit, you're always going into a new experience, empty of it or a new space, empty of experience. So in order for you to not to feel naked or feel like you have a know-how or to go about something, you bring something from the previous space that you created, which is awareness, and bring it in that new naked space, which is you're getting ready to create a new awareness. But with that previous awareness, you that's the joining of two energies to create another one. That's you making a mind, something to be inside of as a spirit so you, you can always be safe and remind yourself you could be inside of something and not be all over the place. You, you became aware so you could be lost in everybody's shit and your own. So the awareness goes on as all of us as spirits, space within space, becoming aware. That's why you got spirits in you creating your hearts and blood cells and shit. Your, your other organ. And we all create an awareness. That's the wave. Then when you make your own mind out of that wave, you make your that's your own footprints in the sand. Your virtue, feminine, multiple, 
principal masculine and uh, masculine side together, right? So for the most part, now when you make your mind, your particle out of that wave, that's your mind now. And now we're all participating in what we created together, that awareness, that's the first world, that life, death, and birth is like less in percentage level. You can change dreams as bodies. Your body is your dream. The world you're inside of as a spirit trying to make out of it. And we're sharing it and we can share space. Anytime we share dreams, we, as a spirit, we can be aware of each other. But we can't see each other at this point as a spirit. We can only express being aware of each other what we created around. We shared our world, our mind. And your mind is what? A collection of thoughts and feelings. So we got similar thoughts and feelings. As, as a spirit, I'm a, we're going to be experienced. Let's say my beach connect to your beach. You might got a tree in a different formation. I'll be able to see that on an area of my beach and both of our beaches is connecting. This is what I'll be talking about as us coming out the house and creating the esoteric Babylon and shit. See what I'm saying? And this is how we summon each other and bring each other down here and create. This is how we fucking in the fourth and the sixth dimension also. So you can separate spiritual age from physical age because spiritually you could be older than a person who came in one geographical location before you to create a physical form, which would be an allegory to your parents or your older siblings and shit. That don't mean they older than you spiritually or it would be no such thing as when they lift their arm. You lift your arm and you do everything exactly like them as far as intellectual wise. But the ability for you to be aware of different shit and we can use comparing and contrasting and come up with shit like a person is more wise than others too. Even when they're younger, we have to add some type of different science to that. And since there's no DNA physical science to that, this comes to the other point. Back to the point I come to. Spiritual science. The word spirit. Making correspondences and synchronicities. That's the only way we could come up with the term spiritual science and actually make it simple and go deep. So we can actually have starting points to understand shit that's beyond physical. While using the physical as a correspondence, while using it as a word, as a term to point to something that that word isn't actually is. So y'all stop calling physical terms that we create the spirit where the spirit create all these things, such as water and sperm and egg cells and shit like that. Your spirit create these things. Your spirit create the things that create brains and organs and hearts. Not these things be your spirit. Stop blaming the creation for the creator. We are the creators. We are the spirits. That's that create high resistant bacteria, Cree, from our point of, reference, point of reference for the first time, where you became aware for the first time. A, the letter A. When a star was born from your high mountain, high mountain top, when you started to create their tour. And that's the actual metaphysical esoteric knowledge behind the word create tour. C R E dash, the letter A dash, T O R. That's when you know how to break down the occult practices. So when you, so let's say if that's pseudo and that's a play on words. If you're spiritual enough and you like me, you would do the proof in the pudding. You would practice that as above, so below for yourself. And then that would take you to the space that other spirits was in for you to understand it for yourself anyway. So that word could be used in Latin in another way. You can see that civilization plan out a certain characteristics and spot that practice, spot that energy. Now you know the language of God and you can't get right to sleep by no language or historiosity or no jail man scholarship. Because you understand practices. So you'll be able to teach it better than them. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. 